Hello everybody, this is Joel from the Trellis development team. I just wanted to show you how Trellis works. Um, so this is our splash page. You can get to it by going to trlls.com, that's trelliswithnovowels.com, or trolls with no vowels, but trellis with no vowels. So here's, here we go, sign in. So when you log in to your Trellis Vine, it will look something like this, um, probably just with one version. Um, you'll have all, all your versions in order based on date, um, and if you click on these versions, you can see the files that are included and the changes that go with the files. Um, so we'll start from the beginning, um, how to upload a new version. So first you want to go to where you store your code on your local hard drive. Um, here I have a folder that has some um, example robot C code uh, that we're just going to use as our test code base. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to select all the code that you want to upload to Trellis. You're going to right click and you're going to say send to compress zip folder and it will build a zip, a zip file for you. Probably not with a name that you want so if you want you can just rename that. It won't really matter in the end. So if we look inside, there's all our code. So then we go back to Trellis, and under the Actions menu, we'll click Upload a New Version. Choose File, and select the zip that you've just created. And then type in a message that kind of describes what, what you're uploading to Trellis. So I'm just going to say, Uploading a bunch of new code. Obviously, you're going to be a little bit more descriptive about this, so this is just a test. So submit new version. It will churn for a bit. And then there will be a new line um, on your Vine with a new version ID. And if we click on it, it will churn for a bit. And it will show all the files that you've uploaded. So basicmotor.c, autorunsimple.c, basic servo.c, etc. So this is this is all those example files, so there's scads and scads of lines. And so what this view will show is it will show um, the lines added or deleted in your new version per file. So as you can see, basic motor.c has had every single line added because it didn't exist in the previous version. So um, suppose we made a change to this file. We'll go find this file and we'll open it up. Um, here it is, basic motor. And we'll open with robot C. There it is. Okay, so here we have um, basic motor.c. And we're just going to uh, make a few minor changes. So suppose we don't want the motors to be as strong and we change them to, the, to 30 power. And maybe we would don't wait as long. So down to 750. And we just save this file. And then we re zip everything. You can copy and replace. And then go back to Trellis and upload a new version picking the zip that we've just updated with the new file. And in our message we can say that there's been changes made to basic motor. And now it shows a new version with the correct message. And if we click on this version, we can see now we have red lines and green lines. So what the red line shows is the red line shows that there's been a deleted line and the green line means that there's been an added line. So if you think about all the red lines going away and all the green lines appearing, we now have our, our new version of basic motor. And also notice that when you click on um, this most recent version, it doesn't show all the files, it just shows the ones that are changed. Um, 
And we can also just click on basicmotor.c just to see the full, um, the full file without the red and green lines. So the other thing you can do with Trellis is suppose you didn't want those changes that you made to basicmotor.c. What you can do, here go back, is you can go to a version that you want to revert to and you can click the make this the latest version button. So if I click this button, it will make a new version wh whose message is rollback of the one that you reverted to. So it says rollback uploading a bunch of new code. And if we click on this version, it is the exact opposite of what we just committed. So basically it undid the changes that we made in basicmotor.c. So the other thing you can do with Trellis is you can download all your code from basically anywhere that you have internet access. So to do this, you click on the actions menu and you can say download newest. And that will just download um, a zip file with all the current files contained in it. The other thing you can do is if you want a previous version of the code, um, you, can, you can click on a previous version, so say version 68 here, and you can say download this version. So then that will um, download a zip file with the, the version ID as the name. Um, that way you can get to your old files pretty easily. So um, that's basically how you use Trellis um, for version control. The one other thing is you can invite users to be on your Trellis team by just typing their name in this top invite box, so or typing their email address rather. Um, so say I wanted to invite this user, oh, Miss Bill. I just click invite user, and then an email will be sent to them with a way to join the team and then they'll be able to access the same Vine um, that you're accessing. It makes it easy to share your changes and share the code. So yeah, that's pretty much it um, for Trellis. Thank you for using it. Um, good luck this season.